Okay, in this problem we're asked once again to find the partial fraction decomposition, so we're told to decompose this fraction x squared plus 4x minus 2 over x cubed plus 4x Sorry about that. Uh, so first thing we can check is that the numerator is smaller degree so we don't have to bother with the long division step. Now to do the decomposition we need to have that denominator factored. So we can pull out a common factor. So our denominator is now x times x squared plus 4. The x is a linear factor. The x squared plus 4 is an irreducible quadratic factor, meaning that it doesn't have real solutions. If you tried to solve that equation, we'd get the answers positive 2i and negative 2i. So it has complex or imaginary solutions can't be reduced down to a linear factor. So recall when we do those, for the linear factor we'd have a constant. For the irreducible quadratic factor, we have to have a linear expression in the numerator, bx plus c in this case. And that would be over my denominator, x squared plus 4. So that's the first step in the decomposition is to expand it out. And now we want to solve for a, b, and c. So we multiply through by our common denominator, which would be x times x squared plus 4. Over 1. And then we start to simplify as before. So we would get just our numerator on the left hand side there. Um, the x would cancel out, so we'd have a times x squared plus 4. In the second term, the x squared plus 4 would cancel out, so we'd have just an x times bx plus c. And then we start to again continue now to simplify. So we distribute the a through, we get ax squared plus 4a. We distribute the x through, we get bx squared plus c. Okay. And at this point, we then look to start collecting our like terms together. Sorry, plus cx. ax squared and a bx squared. So those two things have to combine together give me the x squared term. And then we have a cx, it's the only x, so that has to correspond to the x term on the other side, the 4x. And the 4a has to correspond to the negative 2. So again, ax squared plus bx squared has to be equal to x squared. So we get a plus b equals 1. The cx has to correspond to the 4x, so we get that c has to be 4. It's pretty easy to solve. And 4a has to correspond to the minus 2. So 4a has to be equal to negative 2. And then we begin to solve. Well, we already know what c needs to be. So we just solve now for a. 4a equals negative 2. So we divide by 4, we get a equals negative 1 half. Now we know a and c, we just need to know b. So we go to the a plus b equals 1. Plug in the a is negative 1 half. Plus b equals 1. So we solve for b and we find that b has to be 3 halves. So now that we know what a, b, and c are, we can now take those back up into our fraction and plug the a into a over x and then bx plus c over x squared plus 4. So we do that. So we get a over x plus bx, so 3 halves x plus 4 over x squared plus 4. And we want to clean this up a little bit. Negative 1 half divided by x is the same as negative 1 over 2x. And in the second thing, I don't like having that fraction 3 halves up there. 
So I'm going to factor that fraction one half out. First case, it's pretty easy. It's a 3x. Now the 4 doesn't have a fraction. But remember, when we're factoring, we're dividing out. So if I take 4 divided by 1 half, I would get plus 8. And then that's over my x squared plus 4. And still that 1 half isn't quite where it belongs. The 2 should be in the bottom. So we get the answer negative 1 over 2x plus 3x plus 8 over 2 times x squared plus 4. And so now we have done our partial fraction decomposition. And again, here's the first page where we found our a, b, and c. And then there's our result. Negative 1 over 2x plus 3x plus 8 over 2 times x squared plus 4. Okay. Hopefully, again, this helps you out, and good luck.